Hello everyone, welcome back to some more From the Depths. We've got a pair of atlases incoming right now. And we're not gonna let them do what they want to do. Instead we're gonna have our destroyers up here. Go for the attack. I'm gonna spawn you over here, I'll spawn you over there. Just to make sure. Now we are on board one of them. On this one, which is... Uh, I don't want to be on this one, because it's a flagship. There we go, begin battle, and we're going to take down a pair of atlases. Quite easily, hopefully. Alright, let me quickly turn the music back on. There we go. And you guys are allowed to engage. I should not control the weapons. Pro tip. We've already got a hit on the first one. Which is nice. Second one is also taking hits. So it seems like each destroyer has a different target. Which is not a bad thing. Spreading the fire around is not a bad if it means having less return fire. Speaking of return fire, their cram cannon is already opening up on us. Yep, looks like the flagship is being targeted by both. That's going to be interesting. But then again, we do have high repair, so... We shouldn't take too much damage. And if we do, we can easily repair it. Not that their firing is very accurate at the moment, but you know... It's always a slight concern in my mind. There we go, level up once more. This atlas is taking a pounding. They have now both concentrated their fire on this atlas, so he is not long for this world. Look at those explosions. Beautiful. Yes. Lovely. Now they've shifted fire to the other one. Oh, but... Thanks to the turret setup on this ship, we now target both of them. We have taken some minor hits at this point, but nothing we can't handle. We still have a metric ton of resources. Torpedoes are also in the water because that atlas there is down on his luck. Oh, that should do some damage. AI dead, good. One less to worry about. Second one is taking a huge pounding right now. And we are actually reversing our destroyers, for some reason. Oh yeah, they're too close, that's why. There we go, get some salvage in there. There's nothing he can do, he's doomed. More torpedo impacts. He's just getting torn to shreds. And one of our boats seems to have flipped for some reason. That's a minor technical issue. Just minor. You know, it's not supposed to be that side up. I'm gonna do a quick check, okay. Because I thought I saw a bit too much explosions going on. Well, that was that. We have beaten another fleet. Now, let's pull all out of play. They will reorganize. We have a Palagon prototype and a Barracuda over here. So we're going to go over to the starting fortress. Play these out of play forces. Go down in altitude and we are going to build the new fighters that we have been designing in the other episodes. Alright, let's get up to here, build the wing. Uh, yeah, spawn of 30. Spawns to preserve for max lifetime spawns there. Hopefully, that should tell it to automatically spawn four of them. But if not, then uh, no biggie. There we go. Look at that. It's being built so quickly. And there we go. That is one of them. 
Guess we'll have to do it by hand. There he goes, off into the distance. Now we're building number two. There we go, number two is done. Oh dear god. No, please don't smash into us. God damn it. <laughs> Instead of trying to lift it up, literally, we have... It's managed to skewer itself onto the fortress like a genius. Oh my god. Sometimes, I swear to god. Anyway, let's do one more and then we'll just pull them all out of play. Might be able to help it out. There we go, that should do it. Get out of here. Nope, that did the exact same thing, unfortunately. Can we maybe jump here to help it up? Oh, screw it. We will merge you into a fleet. And rename you as the uh, sec second fighter wing. There we go. Pull all out of play. We're going to move you over here. We're going to reorganize you guys. And I've already built one off camera. They are right over here. I will move them in sort of formation. And then we should be good to start another fight. Against these guys. It's going to be a little bit harder. But at the same time. We'll have like 8 fighters. So that should help make things a bit easier. Alright. They have stopped moving. Let's go. We'll put you over here. Try to have you facing the right way. We'll have you over here. And then we will have you follow up over here. And we'll have a finger four formation. There we go. Uh, arguably, you could go forward a little more. There we go. We now have a wing of fighters on approach, which is good. We'll reform these as well. We'll have you take a position here. And then you can go over there. Altitude 153. Wow. You must, you must have been a high flyer. And then we'll get you roughly over here. There we go. Fleet formations are now organized efficiently. We'll start moving our destroyers in. And we'll just speed up to 10 times speed with our fighter wings in the air. There we go, assign these, we'll tell you to get as many of all these as you can. We'll move you a bit closer, why not? And then we will actually be able to see them in combat! Just wait for daytime to arrive. There we go, early morning. That's good enough. Let's get into battle, because that's what we're all here for. Get the fighter wings in there. And start the battle, there we go. We are already opening fire with the destroyers. We have got our wings in the air. Beautiful formation flying in here. Although the rear ones are a little bit more behind than I maybe would have liked. We have drones being launched. But they should have no way to reach us because of all our fighter wings. Just trying to get to the battle at the moment. We are in degraded mode. Because there is... Yep, there we go. Drones have been deployed. It'll be interesting to see how they 
get shot down out of the sky. Oh god, it's now... 10 drones, didn't it used to be 8? Oh god, look at the amount of fire that's incoming. Yeah, a lot of tiny drones. And a lot of cannon fire as well. I'll keep an eye on the damage, but I don't think we should suffer too much. There we go, we have missiles being fired. And we have taken an impact on one of our wings. It is now spiraling out of control, unfortunately. And seeing how the wings don't have any... Oh god. Second one just took a big hit. Although they are sort of repairing each other, which is good. Jesus Christ, look at the amount of missiles they are firing. I'm starting to think... That some of them may be targeting friendlies. Which would be a little unfortunate. Which might have been a minor design flaw that I wasn't exactly aware of. Yeah, we have the wings are going down. They are not as effective as I thought they would be. Oh dear. Looks like we might have to make a tiny adjustment to them on the fly. I'll probably do that off camera, but at least this should buy the uh, the more expensive destroyers plenty of time to get to actually damage the Barracuda and take out the drones before we suffer too much. Yeah, they are they are just getting butchered. This was not exactly what I was hoping for when I designed them. We'll cut our losses and withdraw. Don't want them to die for no reason, if at all possible, or avoidable. And we are now down to our pair of destroyers, unfortunately. Putting more fire into the Barracuda, but the Barracuda is also returning fire on us, unfortunately. And now all those drones will be rather anxious to start injuring us. Yeah, we are firing on the Barracuda. He's down to 79%. And we are going to start taking some damage on our destroyers soon enough. At least the Barracuda is taking some good damage. There we go, some more hits landing. It's down to 78%. I believe we might be shifting fire to the drones now, which is good. Because they are getting rather close and launching a ton of missiles. Yep, there we go. Fire has been shifted. Uh, not really effectively just yet. There we go, one down. Level up once again. It's good, we'll put some points in the mechanic quickly. To repair more efficiently. One of their drones just got blown out of the sky, which is good. There we go, another one too damaged. We are now firing on this one, which is trying to avoid to the best of its ability, but it's only a matter of time until we kill them all. Oh, the, the Barracuda also took a big hit just now, I believe. It had a big explosion. It does seem to be losing altitude and the game is now freezing for whatever reason. Right, there we go. We now have our wings here in formation. We have retrofitted them to version 5. They all have the same altitude, speed, and they shouldn't fire at each other. So let's begin the battle. There we go. Quickly tell these two to focus on the Pelagon prototype. And there we go. We have our wings. All in neat formation here. 
The Barracuda seems to have trouble deploying its drones because it just lost one or two, probably. Friendly fire on their side is good for our side. And fairly soon we should start launching missiles. There we go, first ones are already airborne. And two of their drones are already out of the battle, which is nice. We have a swarm of missiles launching from our wings. There we go, level up as well. Their drones are taking seriously heavy hits, which is always nice. There we go, two damaged all over the place. We might have just won the air dom uh, the air supremacy uh, part of this game, which is great. That would be amazing. Well, now of course we are going to start taking some damage. We can dish it out, but we're not really great for taking it just because we are so small. Oh, nearly killed another friendly there. But at least we have a lot less drones to worry about. There we go, look at that. We have a lot of ours left and... Their drones are thinning out by the minute. We are taking some losses as well. Now, how is the ship doing? Good, I'm gonna tell you to reverse just temporarily so you don't bump into your friend there all the time. Wings are taking more damage, but... Uh, how is the actual fight doing? Yeah, we've got a lot of damaged wings right now. Let's just fire on the Barracuda. Oh god, I've been controlling the guns again. Turns out I'm an idiot. Who knew? Let's get some music in here. It's died down again. Because of course it has. That's the downside from From the Depths. Really like the music, but it's got to play a bit more often. Yeah, I think our drones have lost steam there in the end. Let's try and tell it to focus on that drone, if possible. If we can take out some more drones before they disappear, that would be great, otherwise... We just lost the air superiority, which I was hoping we'd won. We have one. Well, we had one yet. We're gonna pull them out. Taking too much losses. And they still have most of their drones for some reason. Although one just lost its AI. Which is nice. We are putting some fire into the Barracuda. Now unfortunately we can't call the wings back in. Quickly go in here, disable that once more. We're just gonna keep a playlist in the background from now on. That's a lot better. A lot less infuriating as well. One of the turrets seems to be stuck, which is just brilliant. It's not like I fixed them or anything. One of them's too damaged, it's good. Barracuda is taking hits. It's taking big hits, look at that, 70%. And I just died. That's alright, I'm probably gonna start boring the, uh, the Pelagon prototype myself, take out the turret. I'll warp over to you quickly to get a head start. Stop controlling the blind guns. I wish it didn't do that by default. Really extremely annoying. Right, let's get over there. I mean, the Barracuda is down in the water now, which is good. I'll probably let the... Uh, 
the destroyers focus on the drones next. While I go to take out the Pelagon prototype, or at least take out his main turret, which seems to be doing the majority of the damage with all its shells flying all the time. Hopefully we haven't lost too many wings after this battle. It does seem like turning up the difficulty properly turns up the difficulty. I will admit that. It, do, it did seem a bit easier in earlier campaigns in which I was playing on a bit more lax enemy design variety. But this is half the challenge. This is where the fun is. If you ask me. Now where is your truck block? It's over there isn't it? Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, come on! For fuck's sake! Stupid, bloody, torpedoes friendly fire bastards! Well, there's the Barracuda going down, thankfully. Allowing me to once again focus on the Pelagon, which is over there now. Hopefully, I won't get friendly fire to bits again. That would be fantastic. I think they just lost another drone. Yep, good. We are taking them down. Now it's just us versus that paddle gun. And we all know who's gonna win that fight. The paddle gun. <laughs> just kidding. We're not that desperate just yet. Put some more points to mechanic. One day our ships will repair like Jesus or something, I don't know. Didn't really think of an analogy, I just wanted to get the word out of there. That the bird is the word. Oh, please don't start flipping again. I'm probably gonna have to tune the uh, the yaw thrusters on the bottom. That's probably what's making them flip, annoyingly enough. God. Unfortunately, they seem to have prepared the ship up mostly. For now. There we go, get in there. Come on, yes, there we go. There's there's the turret block. If we can get that, that would be great. We got something, that's for sure. We got a whole volley of torpedo thing coming. Ow. Ah, uh, it's good enough. One of our boats is flipped, because of course it is. Oh my god, I swear to god, that is so infuriating at times. Get, get out. That seems to me like the end of the paddle gun. Yes, there we go. We're gonna warp over and we're gonna fix these bloody ships. Because they keep breaking. And flipping themselves, annoyingly. There we go, we are gonna pull all out of play. We're gonna move this over there because that's about to get engaged in battle. Now tell me, how are the wings looking? 86, 75, 8. And two of them are gone. Yeah, we took a lot of damage there, I believe. Unfortunately. But, they are expendable. Mm, that's exactly what they did. They expended themselves upon the enemy. I'm gonna move them back over here. Repair them in the meanwhile. We've got an attack to defend against. It's a cockatrice coming in with 30, 000, uh, 30 speed, so we're gonna have to respond quickly. Would you like to view this fleet? No, we've got two minutes to repair apparently. Yeah, you are now blockaded. Like, we could scrap you, but that would be a bit cheap. We've got our first fighter wing in here, thankfully. Repaired and all. We've got yet another fleet incoming because why give us a break, right? Jesus Christ, how many do you have? I 
Out of way, the wings are now getting back there, thankfully. Still 60 seconds. I don't think this wing is going to make it over there in time, but we at least have one wing. We're just going to have to do the battle and hope for the best. Begin the battle! Warp over to the Sinner's Luck, which will serve as my flagship for this battle. Oh my god, look at the missiles. Oh my god, they made it like a chicken. That's amazing. Scary, but amazing. Jesus Christ. That thing's packed with guns. Come on, wings, we need you. They should hopefully at least distract some of the cannon fire. Oh, he's launching counter missiles. Damn, slippery bastard. And he's also flying at an altitude, which is frankly out of reach for the uh, for the wings. We're now taking the brunt of the fire. Jesus Christ! Come on, at least get some hits on him. Turns out we may have met our match here, folks. The cockatrice is just killing the sinner's luck. I believe we're going to have to withdraw. Alright, expected casualties. I'm already scrapping it, so don't worry about that. I'm not going to use it anymore anyway. Battle finished. There we go. We have withdrawn. He's going to go over there and... Oh no, he's going to attack more. Quickly withdraw the fighter wings, radar balloon, you, you might want to get down there, just saying. Oh crap. You bastard. And as luck, we'll get rid of that blueprint, why not? We're gonna have to get our second fighter wing in here. Although they're not gonna really do much, unfortunately. Like the best bet we have is our destroyers right now. Yeah, I'm not going to call them in, unfortunately. Although, we might be able to get a battle with purely the destroyers. There we go. And we are fighting at night time for some reason. Can I at least warp to one of them? That's a flagship war. We'll warp to that one. Jesus Christ, look at the amount of fire that's incoming. God damn you, cockatrees. You are a worthy opponent, if nothing else. Just look at that. That is silly. That is ridiculous. That is amazing. I wish my ships were more accurate. God damn it. Come on, guys. You're taking a lot of incoming fire. Oh, he's got shields as well. Come on. That's almost cheating. Although we are now getting to the point where his shields are not... No, I don't want any copyright claims. There we go, sorry about that. I had to make sure that the wrong music didn't start playing. Come on, stop it with the bloody shields already. Cheapskate. Well, the guns have managed to fix themselves, which is great. And there we go, we are now putting fire into its ass. Which sounds terribly wrong, but I'll take it anyway. Got the bloody shield. Look at that, he's got 10,000 engine power just for shields, mainly. Bastard. Well, at least we're putting some fire in him. I should probably start looking into maybe EMP shells at some point. I don't know. Oh, looks like we hit the model out. There goes his ammo. 
Good God. Well, this was uh, a weird battle, if nothing else. There we go. Put some fire into that asshole. And most of the shots are still missing. <laughs> and of course we are bumping into each other right now, making a better target. Good job, AI! It's not like you'd ever need to avoid collisions, right? That would be stupid. There's one gripe I have with this game, it's that. Come on, get the guns around, we need to start firing. You see, this is why you don't bunch up! Oh god, there goes the entire turret. Great. What are you- Get moving, you idiots! Oh my god, the AI! So stupid at times, I swear to god. Please kill that cockatrice, I will be so upset if you both die. For some inexplicable reason. Come on, go forward! Oh my god. Idiots, the bunch of them! Oh, and I'm still controlling the guns. Great! They should really get rid of that! I swear to god! No surprise we haven't been winning yet. Anyway, we're putting some good fire in him now. He seems to be flipping and doing all sorts of weird stuff. Which just reveals another rapid fire cannon. Yep, did we just lose some ammo? We might have lost some ammo. I am not sure at this point. All I know is the AI can test my patience at times, I swear. Well, he's taking some good damage there. He's finally flying in all sorts of weird shapes and directions, and he's probably gonna die soon, hopefully. And then we're probably gonna end this episode. I'm not sure I could stomach much more AI stupidness at this point. Just keeps bouncing off. Oh my god, stupid shields. Please die. Please. Good, we hit another ammo barrel. How many ammo barrels do you have on there? Jesus. Just die at some point, will you? There we go, AI to thank God for that. Get out of my face, you bastard. Well, there's a lot of friendly salvage over there from the, uh, the Sinner's Luck. We're gonna pull all out of battle, and we've got even more incoming. Jesus Christ. Rocketon Navy. It's a moray. Oh, God. And we've got a ton of further deep water. Where are they getting all the resources from? I swear to God. Anyway, we're gonna end this episode here. We're gonna put an end to this madness for now. If you've liked the video, please do leave a like down below, leave a comment if you have anything to say, and until next time, have a good one folks.